Good evening and welcome to the Wildcats Den here at Hazen Union High School in Hard Cremont. Hazen Union Varsity Boys in action tonight against the Lamoille Lancers. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, channel 1080 on the cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Danny on camera, sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd. Jumpstart your future, and we're going to jump right now into the game. Hazen wins the tip. Got a lot to talk about tonight. The Hazen Union Wildcat boys have been busy this week, and they still got one more game to go. We move the ball around. Brendan Moody wanted to start things off. Turn around. Tyler blocked. Up again. Shot in the foul. Colin Decker doing all he can, but Tyler just too big, too strong inside. Of course, for anyone who hasn't been, you know, has maybe not been visiting the planet since the other night, uh, Tyler scored his thousandth point at the game the other night against Thetford right at the end. He's going to add three more to that one as he completes a three-pointer three the old-fashioned way. I think there's about nine seconds left in that Thetford game when he uh, grabbed a rebound off a missed foul shot, drove the length of the court, went down, made a layup, and that was good enough for his thousand point. There's a block. Moody trying another three. That was Tucker Langlois with that block on the X-Man. Lemoyle with a lot of height. And I was talking to Coach Hill before the game, and uh, the boys are beat up. They are tired. They have had two long emotional games. Last Friday, they played the, the defending two-time Division II champion Montpelier, Solens, and played them to a five-point loss, but it was one whale of a game. Then, of course, we had the game or on uh, Monday against Thetford which Tyler got his 1,000 point, which was a big-time emotional game. They had played at Peoples. This is their fourth game in a week. They played at Peoples last Wednesday. Then we had Montpelier Friday. Monday was Thetford. Tonight we've got Lamoille here. Friday they travel up to Lake Region. Just a murderous stretch of schedule. So Coach Hill was a little worried about maybe being a little flat tonight, maybe being a little tired. And we'll just have to see what transpires out here. 6.37 left to go in the first. Cats up three zip right now. Langlois loses the ball. Moody passes over. Baker inside. Rivard dips underneath. Up again. Misses Tyler. Another rebound. Gets it. Rivard set a rebound record against Montpelier with 33 rebounds. A just unheard of number. I'd say he's got at least a half a dozen out here now. This game so far. Decker gets in the way of that pass. X on the inbounds. Rivard off the glass. Let's say it's seven points. Rivard, Lamoille, zero. Is Tyler responsible for all the scoring so far in this game? Turnaround inside. Shot in the foul. Gabe Locke. Foul called on Lincoln Mitchell. The Prez, his first. That'll send Locke to the line as Caleb Foy checks in. Decker out. And Langlois is out. And Graydon Conger in. Locke at the line looking to complete the three-pointer the old-fashioned way. And he does. 7-3 is your score. Four-point lead for the Cats. 5.35 left to go. Moody from the corner. Nothing but net for the sophomore. 10-3 your score. Brendan Moody, of course, coming. Lives in Wilkins at school choice. Played for PA last year. Kind of made the move to Hazen this year. It's been a great weapon for us. Turn around. There's a three if it goes. 
three-pointer for Caleb Foy. To 10-6. X direct in traffic. X takes a three in and out. Rebound by Locke. Hands the ball off to Conger. Back here, Malcolm Ernst. With Baker on him. Pass over. Clark. Ball swinging around. There's Ernst once again. Back to Conger. Ernst wants to drive. Tries to turn around from the foul line. That's off. Rebound, Revard. Pass up. Moody inside. Nice dish inside the press. Blocked out. Shot up, doesn't drop. Ball back, X back on defense. Good D as uh, Locke was looking to put that one down. X-Man rattles off, rebound the press. Nope, blocked out again. You're not, gonna, you're not gonna take that ball away from Lincoln that way. Moody with another three. And Coach Hosea Crittenden wants a timeout. And coming up the floor, I saw Caleb Foy and Tyler kind of rubbing paint a little bit out there coming up the floor. I don't know if they were just kind of getting to know each other or what. But 3.42 left to go here in the first. Cats up by a score of 13-6. to six. And uh, this will be the last game of the week for us. We've not been here three straight nights now. Uh, we're back again next week. The girls will play day and time and opponent to be determined. We'll probably know that on Monday when the seedings come out. But we'll definitely have... A minimum of one game, possibly two, um, and uh, all depending on seedings and how things fall. And uh, the boys will play next Thursday. They still have games fri this Friday at Lake Region, then Monday they go at Williamstown. A little bit of a break after that. We'll finish up their season. Senior night next Thursday, February 23rd against Randolph. And then their playoffs will start the week after that, and we should get a minimum of one playoff game. And call for a travel. Malcolm Ernst, I thought they might have rung Brendan up for a hand check, but. <clears throat> Referee Brian Casey says he traveled. Crittenden wanted the hand check, said he didn't see it. Chris Magistrelli, Jordan Blaze, and Brian Casey are officials tonight here. Long shot, Baker, the butcher, the baker, the three-point maker. Makes it a 10-point lead for the Cats. Cats press. Lancers break it. Locke loses his dribble, goes out of bound. Revard inside. Nine points. Ernst. And now are we going to get the foul? Brendan called for the hand check on that one. Score 18 6. Gabe Mitchett in. Brendan's going to take a seat, take a little rest. 2.49 left to go here in the first. Fast moving first quarter. 18-6 your score. Ernst. Ball in. Gets it outside. It's Clark. Ernst again. Here on the near side. Lock. Baker almost had the steal on that one as he came by. Clark cross court. Lock. Back to Ernst. Dribbles into a triple team. Nowhere to go with that. Bass back out. Inside Foy. He had nowhere to go. His X went in there to cover nicely on D. And draws the charge. Tyler draws the charge. On Gabe Locke, his first. Foy. 
Foy comes out. I believe Colin Decker went back in. Standing out in the hallway with these guys. A lot of height. A lot of height on Lamoille. Shot short. Tyler fighting for it. Up. Tyler Rivard. Eleven points, unofficial. Twenty to six, your score. Hazen beat Lamoille in the final of the Dave Morse tournament, I believe, by a score of 64-29. Taken away, Baker. That was way back in December. Seems like a lifetime ago. X tries to throw up a shot, doesn't go. Rebound, Lamoille. So much for the Cats coming out flat and tired. Sitting on a current 13 and three record. Ernst, long three pointer. Doesn't go. Rebard. No look pass over to Baker. Mitchell inside to Mitchell. The Prez. The Prez is a presence underneath the basket. Offense and defense. It's a workhorse. Nice move. Nice move by Gabe Locke. Five points for Gabe Locke. Makes it 22 to eight. Rivard just having his way out there underneath the hoop tonight. Taken away, wanted to try the no look. Gabe trying to no look her back to Lincoln. And we've got uh, Hungerford. Azariah Hungerford checking in, Graydon Conger out. Baker dips inside, so it's up the short shot, short floater. Butcher the Baker, the shot maker. And that'll end the first with the Cats leading by a score of 26 to 8. We've seen two three pointers by Brendan Moody. Baker's hit a three plus a field goal. Lincoln Mitchell has that shot inside we just saw. And Tyler Rivard with two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13. Over on the other side, Gabe Locke with five and Caleb Poy with three. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Danny on camera tonight. Sponsored by Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. And uh, we're working tonight. Danny, <laughs> Danny and I were talking last night. We covered a bunch of, of boys games, and then last night we did the girls and their win over Milton. And, I mean, I have been a, I have, I've said all along, the girls' games are every bit as good as the boys' game. And the girls have, have not lost since their opening game of the season. The, the JV team went undefeated. But the pacing of the game is so much different from a boys' game. Um, and I, I had a little bit of a tough time getting used to it. And now I'm trying to get back up to the, the up-tempo, the quickness Of the, of the boys game. But I'll tell you, the Lady Cats can't be more proud of that JV team. Coach Allison Blaney taking them undefeated. And then Randy Lumsden with the varsity with just one defeat. Malcolm Ernst rings up a three-pointer. And we'll wait and see who we get in the playoffs and uh, hopefully get continue right on. Foul called on Tyler Clark. It's going to send Lincoln Mitchell. The Prez, as I like to call him, to the line. And once again, Lin Lincoln's just one of those unsold, unsung heroes out there that just does things that don't show up in the stat sheets, but is every bit as important a cog in the wheel as anything else. Three points. Once again, we'll be celebrating him, Tyler, and Jaden come senior night next week against Randolph. And I believe that was Coach Crittenden that wanted another timeout. 
And, you know, so out, during this timeout, we've got 7.36 left to go in the first half. Cats up 27 to 11. With Tyler getting his, his thousand the other night, and I was talking to Coach Hill about it today. Here's a guy who uh, I don't believe he's uh, uh, Travis Hill, the assistant coach, said, Tyler, I don't think he's made a three-pointer since his freshman year. So all those points have come in the paint. I mean, this guy works. Close-up, indoor shot. I love it. I love the indoor, the, the inside game. He's not out there raining threes down all the time. And more importantly, I'm going to try and get a stat on this. A lot of points have come from the free throw line for him. Nice move. Azariah Hungerford shot and the foul. But Tyler right now for this season shooting around 64% on his free throws. Which, kids, I preach this every single game. You know, I, I make the joke about, you know, show up at 6 a.m. and you're not going to leave until you've knocked down 100 in a row. But 1,000 points, a lot of those one-pointers from that free throw line were added in to that. You can get there. This, you know, it's just as important is what I'm trying to say, is being able to knock down threes or, or anything like that. Solid free throw shooting. Nice shot by Tyler Clark, 27-16. But it just goes to show you what being a worker down underneath, scoring inside, and making your free throws can do for you and get you to 1,000 points as well. Ernst tries to dribble in. Baker holds him up. Tyler on the floor. Tie up, and we're going to have a foul. Foul called on Colin Decker. Bottom line, kids, practice your free throws. Inside, Mitchett. Nice patience. Revired inside, doesn't drop, still going for it. Ball taken away by Locke. Here's Ernst. 6-13 left to go in the first half. Cats up by score, 27-16. Lancers have chipped away a tiny bit here. Three-pointer by Tyler Clark. 27-19. X. Off. Here on this side, short shot. That's going to be short. X with a rebound. Baker. And they're going to tie him up. Chris Magistrelli with the jump. Possession arrow gives the ball to the Cats. Brendan Moody in. 4 checking back in. Decker's coming out. X is coming out. That's who Moody went in for. Baker on the inbounds. Revard, Skies. Shots and the foul. Foy. With a foul. And there you go. I wax poetic about it, and he... He uh, does exactly what I'm talking about, making free throws. Shaquille O'Neal, he is not. Ernst. Off on that one. Cats come up with it. 4.45 left to go here in the first half. Cats up 30-19. 
Moody doesn't drop. Rebound Ernst. And Coach Crittenden wants him to slow it down, set it up here a little bit. Here's Locke inside, Foy. Can't get that one to go. Rebound Rebard. The chairman of the boards. And they're going to call him on a travel. He shoveled his feet. Foy got him to shuffle his feet, trying to go up. Foy is a large presence inside there on Tyler. Watch him bump. Neither one of these guys wants to give the other a, an inch out there. Leaning on each other. It's a matchup. Foy's got a little bit of height and bulk on Tyler as well. Turn around inside. Hungerford, 30 to 21. Gabe Mitch it in, blocked out. Tyler, shot in the foul. And Ryan the Little Lion going in. Gabe Mitch it out. Gabe the Big Blue Ox. Thirty-two twenty-one. your score, Rebard. Another foul shot, another point. Adding to his total. Clark gets it out to Ernst. Baker on him. Three ten left to go in the first half. Cats up 33-21. Lancers trying to free up for a shot. Hazen defense all over him. And that was Gabe Locke going in. Revired up. You're going to call a foul on the floor. Foy rings up his third foul in this quarter. And we'll be shooting one and one. So that's right, because we're in a bonus now. So while the foul was on the floor with the with the advantage of the bonus, while the basket won't count, Tyler still has a shot at scoring two right here. Rattles in and out. Rebound lock. Here's Ernst with 2.45 left. Cats up by 10. <laughs> Trying to go inside. Nowhere to go. Ryan the Little Lion right there. Came up over Ryan the Little Lion. Hungerford, six points. Hungerford, a sophomore, playing good tonight. X, wide open for the three, off the rim, rebound, Hungerford. Two minutes left to go in the first half. Cats up by a score of 33-25. Good game here tonight from the Den. Three-pointer, not made. Foy fighting for it. Foy rattles one in. Caleb Foy, five points for the senior. Six-point lead now for the Cats. Lancers back to chipping away a little bit. We've been able to answer back every time in his first half. Let's see what happens now with 1.30 left to go. Ryan the Little Lion inside. Ryan Morrison. Bumps the lead back up to eight. That one doesn't go for Ernst. Crittenden wanted a carry, but now we're going to get a travel anyway, so we still got the, he still got the turnover. 
Moody kind of lost the handle on that. Less than one minute to play in the first half, down about 55 seconds. Ernst over to Clark. Clark with Mitchett on him here in the corner. In and out. 40 seconds left in the first half. There's a whistle. I don't know what to call. I don't really. Oh, travel? I didn't, I didn't see the travel. I didn't see him give the travel signal. I heard the whistle, but I didn't see him give the signal. Twenty-five seconds. Cats D. Gabe Mitchin. Ah, turned back over. Ernst. Three-pointer off. Rebound Revard. Eight seconds. He's got time. Nice no look. Jaden Baker. Oh, would have liked to have seen that one go. Revard. Turn around. Fade away. Hits it. Tyler Revard, we are looking at a generational talent out here right now with uh, what that kid can do on the floor. Revard, just a monster first half. Hits the fadeaway as the buzzer goes off to put the Cats back up 10. Score 37-27 here as your Hazen Union Wildcats are hosting the Moyle Lancers. Lance Hall for the call with HCTV Channel 1080, www.hctv.us. Sponsored by Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hayes Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Danny on camera will be back in time for the start of the second half. All right, we are about uh, less than a minute away now from the start of the second half here from the den at Hazen Union High School in Hardwick, Vermont. It is your Hazen Union Wildcat Boys hosting the Loyal Lancers. Hazen currently leading by a score of 37-27. to 27. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors... Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and the Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Danny on camera. Excellent first half, um, and that was way short. And saved back in by the Moyle, but uh, for, or, fortunately for us, we come up with it. There's a steal, though, and there's a knockaway, so we're going to end up with it in the end. First half scoring, we had Brendan Moody with six, Jaden Baker with five, Tyler with 21, Ryan Morrison with two, Lincoln Mitchell with three. For Lamoille, this is Tyler Clark with six, Malcolm Ernst with three, uh, Gabe Locke with five, As Azariah Hungerford with six, Caleb Foy with five. All unofficially. And I'll tell you, you saw Tyler make that fadeaway at the end as the X-Man has one rolling his first points of the night. You know, and I said it, I, I truly believe it. We're looking at a generational talent right here in, in Tyler Revard. He rebounds, he scores, he assists. Uh, he, he had a pass behind the back pass to Lincoln the other night. It was just amazing. Ernst. His first points of the second half. He's got five now total. 39-29. But the other guys out there, you know, like I said, Brendan Moody came over from PA. The Butcher, the Baker, he didn't make that one, but he usually does. Uh, Lincoln just out there, I, what I call it, you know, he brings his lunch pail to work with him. He's going to work. Ernst drives in. They're going to call Baker on a foul. Jaden knew it. Um, X has thrown some, some of the prettiest passes this side of Larry Bird, both this year and last year. It's, it's just been amazing. And uh, once they go, once we start getting some of our, you know, Gabe Mitchell, Ryan the Little Lion has really come into so his own this year. We haven't seen too much of the American Dream, Dustin Panzarelli lately. Gavin Stratton, Sully LaFlamme, both gotten some great numbers, as has Morgan Mitchell. So just a great balance. And we're only losing three seniors. We're going to be, we're stacked. <laughs> Ernst. Same thing over on the uh, Lady Cats side. Girls with only one loss on the season. First, uh, JV goes undefeated. It is great to be 
a Hazen Wildcat right now or anytime. Cats up by nine, 6.05 left to go in a third. And I believe that was one of those moving screen thingies. Chris Magistrelli. Oh, had him with the leg. Colin Decker did. Coach Crittenden wanted an explanation. Chris Magistrelli gives it to him. He accepts it. Moody. Off. Rebound. Lincoln goes up, draws the foul. That's what he's talking about. Inside, just working. Working. Mitchell at the line shooting, too. I can tell you a story about Hosea Crittenden, too, the coach for Lamoille. A couple years ago, we're in here, and uh, at the time, rattles home for Lincoln. I was doing, uh, every once in a while I get to play like either pregame music or halftime music or whatever. And I remember I had a Judas Priest song playing. And I looked down and there's Coach Crittenden singing every word. And I thought, this guy is cool. Who took a timeout? Okay, Lamoille takes a timeout. Going to take a full timeout and talk things over. Score 41-30. But I, I just thought that epitomized cool. Coach Crittenden singing along to a Judas Priest. I think it was Turbo, maybe. Or you've got, an, no, you've got another thing coming. And uh, I was watching him. He knew all the words. All the words. 5.45 left to go in the second, uh, third quarter now. Cats up 41-30. Now, you know, I'm talking music. Let's give a little musical history. On this day um, in 1974, I believe. The Burn album by Deep Purple. This is the Mark III lineup with a very young David Coverdale who would go on to front Whitesnake. And Glenn Hughes, who's played with everybody. Uh, it's two of the greatest iconic voices in rock right there. Got together with Richie Blackmore, Ian Pace, and John Lord. They put out the Burn album, which the title track, no pun intended, is one of the, the most incendiary guitar licks I've ever heard. And uh, if, you, if you play it, I suggest playing it on 10. But don't be driving. You'll, you'll get picked up for speeding. Shot up. Dribbles, dribbles down through for Colin Decker. His first point. 41-32. Cats have had an answer for every little run that the Lancers have gone on. X, long three. Way off, way off. Gets the rebound, though. Comes back out to him. Passes over. Moody inside. Rivard doesn't drop. Gets the own. Gets his ring row back up. Tyler Rivard. Brian McFarlane blows his whistle. Excuse me, Brian Casey. Brian Casey. I don't know where I got McFarlane from. Brian Casey. In the end, the foul was called on the X-Man. His first. Ernst wants to go inside. No look pass. Didn't take the shot. Had Locke open over there. Locke once again. Over to Ernst. Steps back, doesn't drop. Rivard runs into Langlois on the way up. Gets it up, Mitchett underneath, pass under, turn around. Tyler Rivard, 25 points for the senior. Double team. Gets it back to Ernst. Drive. Didn't go. Mitchett. Wants to go inside. Does go inside. Doesn't get it. Rebard with the rebound. Back up. Draws the foul. 
as Gabe Mitchett and Colin Decker were really going at it down underneath there. Coach Crittenden going to put Caleb Foy back in. He's got three fouls along with uh, Hungerford. Foy kind of held us in check on the inside there for a little bit in the first half. Tyler making his free throws once again. And Decker's going to come out. And Langlois is going to come out. Second one good. Twenty seven points for Tyler Rebar tonight. Forty seven thirty two your score. Pass over Foy. Making his presence felt underneath. Moody takes a look inside, swings it back out to Gabe Mitchett. X-Man, Tyler, beautiful pass. The Prez. Seven points for the Prez. Going inside, high off the glass, doesn't drop. A lot of activity underneath there. Judging by Hungerford's reaction. Lamoyle gets the ball. Ernst, direct in traffic. Nowhere to go. Back it out, set it up again. Hungerford wants to try it. Three jerseys right there. Frees up Ernst in the corner for a three that he makes. Malcolm Ernst, second three-pointer. Nine points for the junior. 49-37, your score. 2.15 left to go in the third. X-Man knocks down the three. Xavier Hill answers back. I said every time they've, they've sort of chipped away, we've been able to answer back. 52-37, your score. 155 left to go in the third. Here's Hungerford. Nice shot. Sweet shot by Azariah Hungerford. Eight points on the night now for the sophomore. Moody, Brendan Moody. He's hit nothing but threes tonight. That three threes for Brendan Moody, nine points, 55-39. One twenty left to go in the third. Gabe almost got that pass. Lock. Over to Hungerford. Three-pointer. Three-pointer by Tyler Clark, and he's hit nothing but threes. That's, a, that's the third three tonight for Tyler Clark. 55-42, 45 seconds left. And Foy picks up his fourth. Jordan Blaze with the whistle on that. Ernst going to come out. Nine points for Malcolm Ernst. Moody off on that one. Rebound taken away by Hungerford. 35 seconds left to go in the quarter. Graydon Conger back in. Conger. And Conger wasn't ready for that pass. Or had to go through his hands regardless. Got a turnover. 
Cats with the ball with 21.1 left to go in the third with a 55-42 lead. Lincoln, pass back out. X, wide open for the three. Off. Tyler fighting for it. Lock comes up. Goes down. Right blocked. Rejection. Revard. Right there at the end. Like I say, generational talent. We're looking at right here in Tyler Revard. 55-42 at the end of third. Your Hazen Union Wildcats. And once again, this is the fourth game we've played in a week. We played last Wednesday at Peoples. Friday, a tough one against Montpelier. Monday, emotional one against Thetford. And now here again tonight. Now go on the road Friday at Lake Region. Get the weekend off Monday at Williamstown. Then get a couple days off and finish up here at Randolph here at the Den next Thursday, the 23rd, which will be senior night. So make sure you come out for that. And also uh, the girls will have a playoff game next week. Day and time and opponent to be determined. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable dial streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports. 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. Fantastic program down there at the Tech Center at Lamoille. My daughter goes down there and has absolutely loved it. Danny on camera. We got eight minutes left. See what happens here. On National Gumdrop Day. Yep, it's National Gumdrop Day. X inside to Rivard. Double pump. Travel. Crittenden wanted the wanted the travel, and that's what he got from referee Brian Casey. In basketball and history on this day in 1991, Troy State scored 103 points in the second half to route the Vry Institute by a score of 187-117. 103 points and a half. That's torrid. 187-117 the final. Brendan Moody, they're going to call a jump. In the end, Chris Magistrelli calls a jump ball, and possession arrow gives the ball to Lamoille with 7.23 left to go in your ball game. Cats up 55-42. Inside lock over Hungerford. And ball goes out on the line, Graydon Conger. Here's X, clock ticking. Gabe was trying to feed it inside to Tyler, broken up by Lamoille. The Prez back, he's not gonna give up anything easy, but that is Gabe Locke making a nice play to go right up over Lincoln. You don't see that happen too, too often. Once again, trying to get inside to Tyler and the, the Lamoille defense right there to thwart the threat away. Nice save, but back to a waiting Wildcat and the, the X-Man. Moody gonna take a three. All he's made is threes, four threes. 12 points for the sophomore. Pushes the lead back up, 58-44. 6-10 left to go in your ball game. Wanted to travel, didn't get it. His feet did slip. Revard with a rebound, gets it to X. Locke trying to pick X's pocket. Moody doesn't go. Ball comes down, Lamoille with it. Graydon Conger, and Coach Crittenden wants a timeout. Talk things over with 5.49 left to go in the game. Cats up by score 58 to 44. What other uh, useless trivia do I have for you? Uh, let's see, what do I got here? Uh, it's National Hippo Day. Uh, it's Remember the Main Day. The Main, of course, was a U.S. battleship that blew up in the Havana Harbor back in 1898. Uh, in 1978, Leon Spinks beat Muhammad Ali in a 15-round decision. 
1998, it was Dale Earnhardt winning his only Daytona 500. Uh, once again, I, I still can't get over that. 1991, Troy State, 103 points in the second half to route DeVry by a score of 187-117. Uh, also in this day in 1965, the Canadian, uh, the current Canadian flag was adopted, the white with the red stripes and the red maple leaf background uh, on it. And speaking of Canada, hey, in 1975, Rush, Fly By Night. Fantastic Rush album came out. Their first one with Neil Peart. Fly By Night, uh, let's see, my favorite tune off Fly By Night is uh, Bytor and the Snow Dog. And I actually got to see them do that live on the Vapor Trails tour, and it was classic. Uh, title track, also great. You've also got uh, Anthem on there. Solid. That was their second album. Followed it up with Caress of Steel, which is still nobody's really figured out. So they sort of found their way with uh, some of the other stuff they did. That is your rush history for tonight. The Prez is forced in there. I think they're going to ring him up for foul, but he doesn't let anybody get anything easy under there. Yes, they're going to call him on the foul. His second. But nobody gets anything easy underneath there between the Prez and uh, Tyler, Re Tyler Revert and Gabe Mitchett in a tough inside as well. Decker at the line, his first, falls short. <laughs> Off on that one, strong on that one, off the back of the iron. X-Man, pass back inside, little strong. Brendan liked that one, would like that one back. Trying to get it inside to a cutting Lincoln Mitchell. A little strong on the bounce. Lock. Good for three. Lead cut to 11 with five minutes left. We've seen Lamoille go on these little runs. We've been able to answer back every time. And Tyler goes inside, draws the foul. Foul called on Conger, and that's his fifth. Uh, no, on Decker. Decker, excuse me. Colin Decker will come out with five. He's played a great game, though. Played a great game. He's going to put in Foy, who's got four. With 4.54 left to go here in the fourth. Revard at the line, shooting two. Free throw, good. Free throw, good. 29 points. 60-47 the lead. Baker almost got that one. Ernst. Malcolm Ernst. Switches to his left hand. Knocked away. Baker got a hand on it. Ernst had to force that one back. He was almost going to step over the line. Would have been a backcourt violation. Hands off. Lock. A lot of time running off the clock. I mean, they're down 13. Four minutes left. I know they're looking for the shot, but. And he traveled.
Castle now runs some clock. Nice. Gonna call a jump ball. Nice cut by Lincoln to go in there. Tyler and Lincoln are almost like in sync with each other on those inside plays. They know where the other man is gonna be. And Hungerford is hurt. He's gonna stay in. Sophomore, currently with eight points. 332 left to go in the game. Cats up 60-47. We're gonna get an inbounds play here. As Hungerford is still holding a wrist or a hand or a thumb or something out there. Rivar dips inside, draws a foul. Tyler will go to the line with 3.30 left. Foul called on Foy, that's his fifth. Foy played a whale of a game. He didn't get, he, he played us tough. I'm watching him and Tyler banging in there was, uh, was something to see. Congress, Graydon Congress gonna check in. But Foy played a, a massive game inside. Go fouls out with uh, seven points, but he did a lot of work inside for the Lancers tonight. Rivard misses on that one. Good on that one. 30 points for Tyler Rivard. And if I've done my math correct, eight of those points have come off of free throws. So he's at 30 points. Eight off of free throws. That's the difference, you know? You don't make your free throws, he's only gonna have 22. You make your free throws, he's got 30. That's unofficial, of course. Baker, got a hand on that one. Baker, Tyler Rebar trying the tie slamma jamma. Didn't quite get the alley oop to go. Hungerford puts up a shot, doesn't go. Rebound, Baker, X. For those of you who remember back in the early 80s, that Houston Cougars team, Clyde, Drexler, Clyde Drexler is what I'm trying to say. Hakeem Olajuwon were known as Phi Slamma Jamma. Out here at Hazen, we've got Ty Slamma Jamma. Nice shot by the X-Man. Seven points for X. Ball taken away. Here's Baker, gonna hold it up, pass over Moody, taken away by Hungerford. Conger, overhead lock. Rejection, Rivard. But I think they called a foul before that. Brian Casey let us know. Foul called on Baker, that's his second. It's a good night for Jaden. 2.05 left to go in the game, Jaden's only got two fouls. Locke has that one go. Thirteen so far. Fourteen unofficially for Gabe Locke. Senior. Two minutes left. Cats up 63-49. Moody's wide open over here, but he's going to pass it back. Mitchell foul as Locke was going for it. That's his second. And we'll be shooting one and once. Gabe Mitchett at the line. Misses the front end of it. Ball comes back, saved in by Lamoille. Here's Locke. Hungerford, cross court, Conger, Ernst. 
back over to Clark. Here's Ernst working against Baker. And Coach Grittenden wants a timeout with 1.31 left to go in the game. Cats up by a score of 63 to 49. Let's give me a chance to read our sponsors one more time. Uh, you're watching Hayes and Wildcat Basketball on HCTV, channel 1080 on your cable dial and streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hayes and Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. Last game we will do this week. Uh, next week, we'll, once again, we'll have that girls game. Date and time and opponent to be determined. We'll hopefully know that on Monday. We will definitely be here next Thursday for the uh, senior night for your varsity boys. That's going to be on Thursday, February 23rd against Randolph. Tip off at JV will tip off at 5:30. Varsity at seven. So a couple of uh, exciting games coming up next week, definitely. And of course, the boys' playoffs will follow the following week. Ernst. And they're going to ring up X on a block. Coach Hill, no more fouls. Just finish this game out and go home. Ernst. Ten points so far for Malcolm Ernst in this game. Make it 11. Cats on the inbounds. Lemoyle with a little bit of a press. Xavier Hill gets it over. 122. Will we run the clock or will we get a shot? Tyler Crittenden calling for the time for the double team pass knocked back out Baker once again let's set it up less than one minute to play in a game cats are going to push their record to 14 and three go on the road against uh, Lake Region Friday and then gun down to Williamstown Monday that's always a tough one down there then finish up with Randolph here next Thursday but right now as it stands it's going to be 14 and three Chan of warm up the bus going out. Not going to have to warm it up too much. It's kind of warm tonight. It's going to be even warmer tomorrow for February, that's for sure. Nothing like that cold we had here a couple weekends ago. And ball is going to go out of bounds. The will get to get it back with 23.6 left. Here's Ernst. Going to take a three. Nope. Foul called. Foul called on Baker. And I believe Ernst gets three shots for a foul on a three, if I remember right. First one off. Sixteen point four left to go on the clock. Second one does not go. Tyler thinks he's shooting two when it's a three. Ernst, third foul shot for the foul on a three. Makes it. Third time is the charm. Thirteen seconds. Nine, and the Cats are just going to dribble this one out. And they will push their record to 14-3 and three with a 63-52 victory over the Lamoille Lancers tonight. Good basketball game still. The Lancers, Lancers hung tough for a lot of this game. And uh, we'll be back again next week. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, Channel 1080 on your cable down streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Sponsors Buffalo Mountain Power Sports and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center. Danny on camera. Till next time, live every moment, love every day. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.